on the hit show, The X-Files. You can also see her in a new movie, Playing by Heart, which opens January 22nd. Please welcome back to the show, the one and only Gillian Anderson. <laughs> That is like a major slit up that dress there. I know, I didn't actually think about this part of it. Yeah. I didn't think that, I, okay. It's all right, it's designer, it's happening, it's it now. It's happening, costume, costume with a K. Is that's what it that's is. the name of it? Yeah. Really? It's kind of nice. This is Lane Bryant with an L. <laughs> you look so fabulous. I'm Can in the I Chub Club that? now, I'm in you the Chub fabulous. Club. Thank you very much. And I'm trying for the, for the millennium to get healthier. That's, I think that's excellent. Because you, how old's your baby? She's four. She's four now. It's, it's hard to chase them around, you know what I mean? It is hard to chase them around. When yeah, but you know, as they get older, it gets easier and they can, you know, and then they start chasing you around. Yeah, but you have a girl. I, I have a girl. Now, you see, this could sound very sexist, different. but I no. think it's very different. I think it is. Because I, I have a baby right. girl who's 15 months and my baby boy who's three and a half who I turn around for five seconds, he is gone, yeah. you know? No. It's you scary. have to rise in the back of your head. You do. Do you like motherhood? It's the greatest I thing, I do. Right? It's the greatest thing. She I'm comes so to work with you? I'm so in love with my daughter. Yeah, uh, she does. Yeah, she does. Yeah, do you, your kids come Yeah, they're here? here today. Are they really? Yeah, they have strep throat. Stay away from them. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <laughs> but um, that must be good for her. She's always been... X-Files, though, creep around a little bit, or she doesn't get it? No, it doesn't really. And in fact, she, she tells me constantly that she's not afraid of the dark and she's not afraid of monsters. Really? You know. But I, I, I don't think there's been anything ever on the show, you know, when she's on, on set with me that's ever really scared her. Yeah, because... She's, she's very open-minded and, and, you know... I think in some ways you expose them to that when they're young. Maybe they don't get as afraid of it. You yeah, know? And, and she also sees the process of... You know, there was actually one guy once um, who... Uh, there was an episode about a... Um, a, a tree monster. This guy who was like a tree. Yeah, and he lived underneath. And, and, he, and he lived underneath. Yeah. And, and, and so there was. He went through all this prosthetic makeup with his bark on his body and everything. And and um, and when he was gone, she she missed him. She kept talking about her friend, the tree man, and she wanted him to come back. And and she didn't <laughs> get that you know that he'd have to go through seven hours of prosthetic makeup to get her friend back. You know? <laughs> to become she, tree man. Yeah, but she loved the person underneath. You yeah. Know? And so, you know. So it's. Does she have endearing. a favorite show? Is she into the comfy couch or? Um, no, but you know what, well, we did an episode with Lily Tomlin, um, recently, who's fantastic, and, and, um, and she gave us some, uh, some Edith Ann videos, which oh. are just so amazing. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but there's so, you know, there's one about, um, about homeless people, and, and this, and she goes to her therapist, and she talks about, you know, about strengthening her insides, and about, you know, taking care of herself, and it's just, it's very progressive, and, and conscious. Yeah, great and, messages for kids. Mm -hmm. That Wonderful. was a good episode, too. That was your New Year's Eve Christmas special episode. That, that was fun. Wasn't I watch it? it all the time. No, I'm addicted. I love I'm it. Glad. I'm glad. I'm very upset because there's a new show, The Sopranos, on HBO. But I it... saw it last night. It's wonderful. What do you I mean, mean you I saw know. it? It's on against your own well, show. I'd already seen my own show. Oh, I'd yeah, you were there. there. I was there. Yeah, geez. But it's wonderful. I mean, Isn't I, it great? I don't know whether I was supposed to say that. But you know what? It reruns Tuesdays at 11. What, Sopranos? Yes. Okay, everybody people... know that. Do not watch it on Sunday nights because it reruns on Tuesday at 11. Tuesdays at 11, so you don't want to watch the news and who does lately. Watch The Sopranos Tuesdays yeah. at 11 on HBO. Yeah. yeah. So you just, you, when do you have time to make a movie doing an hour-long drama? Well, during um, the hiatus, we have about two and a half months where we can go away and, and do something if we want. And this is a cute, great little movie. You it's, and John it's, Stewart it's great, are so cute. It's a great film. You know, it's, it's a lovely um, romantic comedy, but it has, um, it has some really important messages underneath about um, about the courage to change and about forgiveness and you know some of the conversations that are had amongst the couples that are in the movie are just you know they're they're riveting and you've got Jenna Rollins and Sean Connery and Ellen Burstyn and Jay Moore and John Stewart and Angelina Jolie and it's just a tremendous and it's cast. wonderful how it all weaves together at the mm -hmm. end like you don't really know how the characters are related till the yeah. end of the film yeah we have a clip here do you know which clip it is I hope you do uh, we're in a restaurant this is a first date that we've had, and um, and I'm very nervous, and that's about all you need to know. Okay, take a look, Gillian Anderson, very nervous. But I think you can tell that I'm not very good at this. You're charming. <laughs> and real. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> what did I say? No, no, nothing. I just, um, before I came here tonight, 
I was discussing you with my sister. We were coming up with a psychological profile. Several, actually. And which did I fit into? Oh, none. I think I'm going to have to revise the filing system. Put you in the too good to be true category. Hi. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I was telling Jillian about the internet. We're on the internet, and she has always voted the most popular internet person. Are you very? Well, you know what's so weird is that there, there are all these um, there are all these websites that have have my head on top of other people's naked bodies. Which is such a backhanded compliment. It's like, you know? Really? It's like, yeah, we like your face, but your body can go. Let's take that over <laughs> right here. I personally would not be insulted if they did that to me. <laughs> as long as it was a thinner person. Um, now, you, um, you are going to sign some things for us that we're going to put up for auction mm -hmm. on eBay. eBay.com, a Jillian Anderson packages from the X-Files, all the money going to the Four All Kids Foundation. Yes, so later today. Yes, a jacket and a jacket and everything. Look for that. Now, I understand, my producer told me, that you have a helpful hint, snack-wise, Chub do. Club. Well, well, remember last time I came and I brought you the tofu pie, which you yeah. so graciously hated? It was horrible, Jillian. It was horrible. <laughs> it was hor I gagged on it. I was sick okay. for two days because of it. Well, I've got something. You know, we were having a conversation about, about little tips, just for... You know, when you when you get the munchies in the middle of the day, or you know, and everybody, you know, almost everybody go, goes through that kind of situation. But I, I, I'm always coming up with with little ideas, you know, just to fill in between meals and stuff like that. Right. So I brought Let me see. my latest, um, and and you put it out so nicely. For I me. did not put it out. Or Someone did. did. I have okay. not seen this. You know how happy and relieved I am there is no tofu on this platter. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let me tell you what this is. We've got, can I actually say the name of this? Sure, go ahead. We've got, you know, there's different companies like Carnation and Swiss Miss and, and others that come out with this um, sugar-free, uh, non-fat hot cocoa. And so what I, I'll do late at night is I'll rip open a packet and I'll, I'll, I'll um, peel a banana and I'll stick the banana into the packet and eat it. And it's like chocolate banana. But what's also very good is Granny Smith because you get the tartness of the apple and with the sugar. So, so I want you, you to do a little... Do you have to lick the banana in order to no, make it it's, stick? it's quite moist. It's See, moist. It's, it's okay. already moist. And then dip it in and, get, you know, get a good chunk on it. Surprisingly fulfilling. It's very good. <laughs> I did not think I would enjoy that, honestly. I was a little suspect. Look how much chocolate you can get on one thing. I know. Tell me about it. Look how much you can get. Tell me about it. Do you know the Swiss Miss commercial? No, I don't. Swiss Miss Instant Cocoa with mini marshmallows. That's the commercial. This doesn't have any marshmallows in it. But isn't it, look, taste it, isn't it? And that's got to be like zero calories. Yeah. It's, it's um, you know, it's the tartness of the apple and the sugar, and it's great. It's very good. And it fills you up, and, and it's, you know. All right, this is going to become our Chub Club tip of the week. If you want a snack, dip a banana into some Swiss Miss Instant Cocoa, sugar-free, without the marshmallows. Now, Jillian, when we yep. come back, will you play an audience game I with me? I am going to play an We're going to play the X-Files audience game. Don't go away right after this break. We'll be right back. favorite shows ever, The X-Files. Jillian, your storylines, you never know what's going to be uh, happening or what to expect. We decide to play a little game called X Marks the Spot. Our first contestant, come on up. Come on up. The rules are simple. Get in the middle. Jillian, don't let her see the bottom. <laughs> Jillian and I will, don't, they cheat on the show, Jillian. Fair warning. People always cheat. Other people scream and help, but I don't enjoy it. <laughs> I'll read, we'll each read an X-Files storyline, and then you have to say which one is true and give us the X right here, because X marks the spot, all right? Is that going to stick to us? Yeah, it That's is. Gonna, it's got a okay. double stick there. All right. Yeah, we're all prepared. All right. All right. <laughs> Jillian, read your storyline. Okay. Mulder and Scully investigate a family of inbreds. <laughs> they suspect they're kidnapped a woman to bear their children. Actually, it's their mother who lives under a bed. <laughs> is that the storyline, or... Mulder and Scully investigate reports of an invasion by three-inch tall aliens who can only be seen by children under the age of six, and Mulder. What's your name again? Rhonda. Where do you live? At uh, Blairstown, New Jersey. I should have done that first. Damn! <laughs> Where do you put your ex? Um... On Jillian. You're right! Oh! X-Files video for you. Sit down, sit down. Marie Petrichelli, come on down, Marie. Hi, Marie. Hi. 
How are you? I'm good, fine. Where are you from? Fairland, New Jersey. What do you do for a living? I do volunteer work at one of the uh, uh, veterans' hospitals. That's, that's very nice, good Marie. You. Good for you. You ever watch The X-Files? A couple times? All right, you're just going to be guessing, and it's a 50% chance. Take it away, Jillian. <laughs> Mulder investigates an evil clown who is suspected of implanting alien brains inside circus employees. Or <laughs> Scully gets a tattoo and meets a man. The man admits his tattoo's been talking to him and told him to murder his neighbor. What do you she think, Marie? Scully uh, or me? I have to think it's her. No. Wrong! Oh, Marie, you're wrong. Give me that X. That's right. totally can, mine. Can I change my mind? You know what? Because I'm a sucker, I'm going to give you the prize anyway. The X Files video. Yes, sit down. All right. Quick, come on, quick. Got to do the spam. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Hi, Mildred. Okay. How are you? Fine. How are Step you? down so you don't look like okay. a giant. All right. All right, Mildred, we got to go quick. Go okay. Ahead. Scully poses as a laboratory assistant to investigate evil cloning practices by our government. She is cloned and has to fight her sinister double. Are you peeking? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Jillian. Get up on that. Five babies are born with tails. Mulder figures out that they're all fathered by a man who can morph into anyone. That male becomes Mulder and hits on Scully. Who do you think? <laughs> We're going to have a whole bunch of stuff from Jillian signed on eBay, including the package that the audience won, those videos. Thank you very much, Pat. Right there, videos. Uh, next, the sinking wall investigation. Don't go away. Jillian Anderson! Yeah!